Hey everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. I don't know why I drag out words, but I do that. I think it's because I want a cool title for these Saturday cooking videos. If you have any suggestions, leave that in the underpants below. Uh, like for example, should this be Aaron's Country Kitchen or look at this 80's craftsmanship kitchen time. No, see I don't know, I'm not that creative. Today's video is going to be a little different because I'm not really going to actually cook anything. I already cooked it and we're going to create something with it. As most of you probably know, Easter is right around the corner, meaning it's tomorrow when you're watching this. So I thought, hey, I want to make an Easter bunny cake. Mama makes Easter Easter bunny cakes. Um, she used to make them for us when we were little, and now she makes one for my niece and nephew, and they're pretty darn cute. They're also pretty easy to make, so I'm going to show you how to do it. These are very customizable. I did not make any... Oh, a fly. No! Harry, no! Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. I didn't make a homemade cake. I just, we use box cake mixes for these. You could do like confetti cake, chocolate cake, vanilla cake, carrot cake would be appropriate for, you know, with a bunny rabbit and bunnies eat carrots. Pick whatever kind of cake you want to make and bake like you're going to make a layer cake. So these are two nine inch pans you I think the other size is eight inch so whichever one you have just make two two circle cakes one of them after it's after it has baked and has cooled leave it just as a circle if you have a really pretty serving tray like a big serving plate or platter a big platter that's the way if you have a big platter plate this would be what you want to use if you don't have one which I don't have one use your biggest size sheet pan Okay, so these are going to be the ears. Get a knife and cut little football shapes on the sides. But leave space in the middle because that's going to be the bow tie. That's about two inches. Now you're going to take your little footballs and put it at the top of the head. That's the ears now. And then that's the bow tie, see? Carefully scoop it because it might break in half, but if it does, it's okay. You just uh, squish it back together. Now we're gonna frost it. You can use whatever decorations you want. I was cheap, so all I bought was sprinkles, but it would be really good if you had like those little tubes of icing that you could write with, or candies to make the eyes or the nose, like you could use jelly beans or gumdrops or whatever. All we used were sprinkles though. My bunny um, didn't turn out as cute as I wanted it to. I mean, it's, it's cute because it's a bunny, but I feel like I probably should have at least gotten food coloring or something so I could create more things because creating a whole face with sprinkles is kind of hard to do. But anyways, here's, here's our bunny. Adam helped me make it. BT dubs. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. I, I went with a chocolate cake mix and vanilla frosting. I know what that tastes like. I know what that tastes like. I'm probably going to take this to work tomorrow, so I don't really want to cut into it. But if y'all end up making bunny cakes, um, send me a picture of it. 
either via Twitter or Instagram or somewhere. I don't know where that where you do that, but send me pictures of bunny cakes if y'all make them. Thanks for watching me make a cake into a bunny rabbit. Happy Easter, everybody. Bye.